Hi everyone, it's Erin here from Queen of Ants and today we're going to be running through how to feed your ants protein when they're in their test tube. So here I have a nice little colony of funnel ants still in their test tube set up uh, and they are ready for a good feed. So we're going to use today um, our ant protein mousse. There are loads of different things you can feed your ants for protein. Um, this mousse is a really handy option. You can also feed uh, feeder insects from the pet store, such as crickets or mealworms, uh, or you can use little bits of scraps or just mix it up a little bit and see what they like. But today we're just going to be using some mousse. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Just tear the end off. And there's a couple of options uh, to feed your ants in their test tube. Uh, the first one we're going to, to look at is uh, just a tiny little piece of foil. So I've just ripped off a little bit of uh, foil and made it into a little bit of a dish. So this is a really handy way to feed protein uh, and you can dispose of it as well. So I'm just going to put a little blob of ant mousse into the dish. You don't need an awful lot, just a little bit like that is enough for a colony this size. Um, and then we want to do that probably around about once every week or so at this stage. So using some tweezers, now what I'm going to do is hold on to that and then I'll quickly pull out the cotton wool blocking the end of the test tube and we're just going to slide this little dish into the test tube like that and then block that off quickly so we don't get any escapees. So that's them fed. Now what we're gonna do is actually leave that protein in for around 24 hours. We'll give them a good opportunity to have a feed and then we're going to remove it after that period. So after around a day, we're going to remove it and that's going to uh, prevent it going moldy, any of the leftovers. So it's really important to try to keep your test tube clean. Uh, so they'll be really nice and happy with that. So we'll do that around about once a week for a colony like this size. Uh, you can do it more often once your colony starts getting bigger. It's just a bit of trial and error to see how much uh, they're going to eat at any one time and how hungry they are. But you can see these girls are straight, straight into it. Um, they're ready for a feed, so they're going to enjoy that. So that little piece of foil is a really uh, easy option to be able to remove. You can get little feeding dishes, little 3D printed ones like this, which are super handy. Uh, but you don't necessarily need that, uh, a piece of foil works just as well. Once your ants are in a bigger nest, it becomes a little bit easier to feed them because you can just put the, uh, the dish with the food in the outworld, uh, but it's still the same. You still need to remove any leftovers once they've finished. Uh, so that's the easiest way to feed your ants their protein in a test tube. Thanks guys, bye.